Today's topic hits close to home for many of us, dealing with a covert narcissist within our own family. Now we've all encountered challenging personalities, but when it's a family member displaying traits of covert narcissism, it can be particularly perplexing and emotionally draining. Think about it. Family dynamics are supposed to be a source of love and support. Yet, as some of you might have experienced, the presence of a covert narcissist can disrupt that harmony. It's more common than we may realize, and the impact on individuals is profound. The constant subtle manipulations, the emotional roller coaster, it's like navigating a maze where the walls keep shifting. So, why is it crucial to talk about this? Well, because understanding and addressing covert narcissism in the family is a step toward reclaiming our emotional well-being. If you've ever found yourself questioning certain behaviors or feeling like you're walking on eggshells around a family member, you're not alone. We're about to explore five effective ways to deal with a covert narcissist in your family. Strategies aimed at helping you maintain your sanity and protect your emotional health. Stick around and let's navigate this together. Now that we've acknowledged the challenges of dealing with a covert narcissist in the family, let's dive into our first strategy, setting boundaries. Picture this as drawing a line in the sand, a clear and firm declaration that certain behaviors are no longer acceptable. Boundaries are not about building walls, but about defining the space where you feel safe and respected. Establishing boundaries with a narcissistic family member is crucial for your well-being. It's about reclaiming control over your life and not allowing the narcissist to manipulate or control you. Communication here is key. Clearly express what you will not tolerate and be consistent in enforcing these limits. It's a powerful step in regaining a sense of agency, prioritizing your own mental and emotional health. Boundaries can be as simple as stating, I won't engage in conversations that make me feel belittled, or I need my personal space respected. Remember, this is not about changing the narcissist, but about taking charge of your responses and protecting your own emotional boundaries. It's a challenging process, but by setting clear and consistent boundaries, you're laying the foundation for a healthier dynamic within your family. Now that we've addressed the importance of setting boundaries, let's delve into our second strategy, maintaining emotional distance. Dealing with a covert narcissist often involves navigating through a web of manipulation and emotional triggers. It's like mastering the art of emotional Aikido, where you learn not to absorb the negative energy directed at you. Recognizing and understanding the tactics employed by the narcissist is crucial. Emotional distancing is about not taking their behavior personally and not allowing yourself to get emotionally entangled in their attempts to provoke a reaction. It requires a shift in perspective, understanding that their actions are a reflection of their issues, not a commentary on your worth. Practice detachment by viewing their behavior with a certain level of objectivity. Instead of reacting impulsively, focus on your own emotional health. Picture it as putting on an emotional shield, acknowledging their attempts to provoke without letting it penetrate your inner peace. It's not about becoming numb, but about preserving your emotional well-being in the face of manipulation. By maintaining emotional distance, you gain the power to choose your responses wisely, rather than reacting impulsively to the narcissist's provocations. It's a journey of self-discovery, learning to navigate the emotional landscape with resilience and composure. Having discussed setting boundaries and maintaining emotional distance, our third strategy is all about controlling the amount of time we spend in the challenging presence of a covert narcissist. Limiting exposure. Think of it as minimizing the opportunities for manipulation and energy drainage. Reducing contact with the narcissist may seem like an obvious step, but it's a powerful one. When interactions are necessary, keeping them brief and focused on neutral topics can prevent unnecessary conflicts. It's about choosing your battles wisely and not getting drawn into the web of their manipulation. Imagine this strategy as creating a buffer zone for yourself. By limiting exposure, you're giving yourself the space to breathe and protecting your mental and emotional well-being. It's not about completely cutting ties, which may not always be feasible, especially in a family setting. 
Instead, it's a strategic approach to minimize the impact of their behavior on your life. This step requires a careful balance, knowing when to engage and when to disengage. It's about preserving your energy for the battles that truly matter while avoiding unnecessary skirmishes. By embracing this strategy, you're taking a proactive stance in navigating the challenging dynamics of a family with a covert narcissist. As we continue our journey in dealing with a covert narcissist within the family, our fourth strategy emphasizes the importance of seeking support beyond the familial sphere. It's about building a network that understands your situation and provides the emotional support needed to navigate these challenging dynamics. Connect with a support system outside the family, friends, therapists, or support groups. These individuals can offer a fresh perspective, guidance, and most importantly, empathy. Sharing your experiences with those who comprehend the nuances of dealing with a covert narcissist creates a sense of validation and understanding. Imagine it as creating an emotional safety net. Having people in your corner who've experienced similar challenges can be invaluable. It's a reminder that you're not alone in this journey. Whether it's a close friend who lends a listening ear or a therapist who provides professional guidance, seeking support is a proactive step towards emotional healing. This strategy is not a sign of weakness, but an acknowledgement of the complexity of the situation. It's about empowering yourself with external perspectives, fostering resilience, and gaining the strength needed to navigate the challenges of having a covert narcissist in the family. As we near the conclusion of our exploration into strategies for dealing with a covert narcissist in the family, our fifth and final approach is perhaps the most crucial. Focusing on self-care. Picture this as creating a sanctuary within yourself, a space where you prioritize your well-being amidst the tumultuous dynamics of dealing with a narcissistic family member. Engaging in self-care activities is not a luxury but a necessity. It involves taking deliberate steps to nurture both your physical and mental health. This could mean dedicating time to activities that bring you joy and relaxation, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. It's about recharging your emotional batteries and building resilience. Think of self-care as an anchor, something that keeps you grounded amidst the storm. It's not about escaping the challenges but finding strength within yourself to face them. By making self-care a priority, you're actively combating the emotional toll that dealing with a covert narcissist can take. This strategy is a reminder that your well-being matters and taking care of yourself is not selfish but essential. Dealing with a covert narcissist in the family is undeniably challenging, but by implementing these strategies, you're not just managing the situation. You're reclaiming control over your own life. Setting boundaries becomes a shield. Maintaining emotional distance and art. Limiting exposure a strategic move. Seeking support and active strength. And focusing on self-care a declaration of self-worth. As we navigate these complex family dynamics, Remember that you're not alone. Many individuals grapple with similar challenges, and through understanding, empathy, and self-empowerment, you can build resilience and maintain your emotional well-being. The journey may be tough, but with each step, you're crafting a path towards a healthier, more balanced family dynamic. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you found these strategies helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insights into navigating life's complexities.